Las Vegas has long been a hub for cops and robbers, but now there's a different sort of sheriff on the prowl. Meet Cameron Donnarumma, water waste investigator. I mainly drive around the city of Las Vegas and I just uh, look for any kind of water waste violations that are occurring. Um, so that can include anything such as uh, water excess runoff, water running off of the property, anything that's malfunctioning, uh, anything broken, so like a broken sprinkler, broken drip emitter, irrigation system leak, anything like that. In drought-stricken Nevada, authorities have declared a war on water waste. Alarms are flashing because Lake Mead, a reservoir which supplies Nevada, California, Arizona, and Mexico, is now at an all-time low, and the rain is just not falling fast enough to help. That's why Las Vegas is cracking down on leaks, drips, and runoff. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just filling out a like a water waste flag. Donna Ruma gives warnings or tickets to homeowners who willingly waste the precious resource when watering their grass. As of right now, we're in summer watering, so um, it's actually against the rules to water between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. It's too hot, so the water is just going to evaporate anyway, so that's why that's, in, that's enforced. Bronson Mack, spokesperson for Las Vegas Valley Water District, said there have been over 5,000 water waste investigations in 2022, and some have resulted in fines. Fines start at $80, and then for every subsequent violation that occurs, that fine doubles. So from $80 to $160 to $320, all the way up to $1,200. Um, so it is a significant penalty to wastewater, and it's actually intended to be that way. The Las Vegas Valley Water District is also offering financial incentives for homes to tear up their grass and replace it with artificial turf or cacti and rocks. Measures in response to the driest Vegas has been since Prohibition.